Thanks for staying with us. It's TVC Breakfast Saturday to the papers right now. We're looking at the front pages of a number of papers with us, uh, starting off with the leadership weekend. The big story there reads, Borono Dam Disaster. We are dying of hunger, victims cry out. Accuse officials of selective treatment as three die in food stampede. More families declare members missing. 300 separated children in camps. Father riders say magnitude of destruction cannot be determined now, says Governor Zulum. Of course, uh, they are also getting, the state that is, is also getting in uh, more and more donations. Uh, Dangote donates $1.5 billion. Uh, the governors and others are also mobilizing more funds. But flood looms in southern states, the federal government wants. Still on uh, this paper now, reverse crisis. No regrets, threatening PDP governor, says former governor Wiki. Board promotes 20,867 NIS, NSEDC, and other paramilitary officers. On the minimum wage, federal government inaugurates Committee on Consequential Adjustments. Federal government declares Monday public holiday, and uh, medical experts dismiss narration of 11 babies' delivery. All right, now we'll move on to the Nation newspaper. And the big story here says, Wiki, no apologies for threatening PDP governors with fire. Anger in Fubara's camp as a PDP grants FCT minister control of River State. And flooding, FG puts Niger Delta Southern State on a lot. A police recover 11 bodies in Bruno State. Dangote refinery begins distribution of PMS tomorrow. That's coming from Edo. Right, so that's a good news there. Uh, let's quickly move on to the mass head. Edo Guba election, APC DS PDP to uh, fulfill boycott threats. And also, oil marketers fault Dangote refineries' claim of low patronage. All of the stories on the front page of the Nation newspaper this morning. First News says the lead story is captioned Ingratitude is unacceptable. Uh, with the um, FCT minister, former governor Wiki, says, I will never support Fubara again, accuses Rivers governor of betrayal and lies. Uh, there's a picture story there of people affected by floods escorted through flood waters uh, in Meduguri. They're on a military boat. Major blow to terrorism as Nigerian Air Force eliminates notorious terrorist Sububu as well as 38 of his followers. Ronaldo makes history as first to reach 1 billion social media followers. Lagos, Abia, Eboyi, Akwai Bomb welcome new police commissioners. And uh, Vice President Shetima visits IDP camp, promises swift federal assistance for victims. Also, Comoros President Azali Asomani wounded in stabbing attack. All right, so Saturday Telegraph now. May Duguri flood. FG warns of impending drinking water contamination and approves 108 billion naira for victims. Shetima pledges continued support of flood victims. Bruno to constitute multi-stakeholders committee to undertake assessment. That's coming from the governor of the state. Nigeria at 64. To build a nation, we need to enthrone justice, equity. That's coming from Okiro. All right. Um, Ide Malud, FG declares Monday public holiday to those who will be staying at home. For those of us who are always here, mm, definitely no there is no holiday <laughs> for us. All right. A controversy over lifting of Dangote petrol from Sunday. And I'm ready to be vice president if there is a better candidate, says OB. 2027 PDP ticket, Kambua Makinde Bala team up to dislodge Atiku. All of the stories there on the front page of Saturday Telegraph this morning. And for the independent, uh, ahead of the Guba polls in Edo State, there's a big question being asked there as to will... Security agencies, political gladiators allow for free, fair elections on Saturday. And why INEC should check federal might vote buying influencers as well. Defections characterize campaigns politicking. PDP governors, as well as Wiki, lock on over soul of party. Open defecation, Nigeria faces health emergency as 191 million Nigerians lack access to safe sanitation, says UNICEF. Uh, blood Print weekend and the big story here is back to school with tears. Private schools eat fees hike bazaar. 
All right, uh, this is quite um, pathetic. Private schools increasing school fees and school resumption has left us in panic. Parents, they are talking in ordinary desire for profit, responsible expert, they are talking. And poor standard of public schools uh, needs to be addressed. There's a lecturer there. Nefji declares Monday public holiday to mark Idi Molud. A uh, Nigerian sentenced to death in Indonesia regains freedom and Kintensho frustrated over fans' demand for 35 million naira. All of the stories there. Well, let, let me quickly take this. I want to be recognized worldwide. This is coming from Aisha Mohammed. All of the stories on the front page of Blueprints a weekend this morning. Let's quickly take some sporting headlines now on Sporting Live. Ahead of first game for Galatasaray, Osimen's laughter back. That's uh, what is here on the nation's Sporting Live. Also, Messi said to return after two month layoff. Elliot out. Mark Alistair trades. That's in uh, the match between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest. Oyedika gets Club Brooks 36.6 billion. Uh, Nara Chag, let's get the final one from you. All right, uh, Sabah 2024. 20, this coming from uh, the pointer. Business booms at national youth games. And also army moves to preserve civil war sites in Asaba. Uh, security boasts a terrorist then rescue kidnapped students. And all uh, Edo 2024. PDP accuses INEC of recruiting persons with fake ID cards. Now let's quickly move on to the market now. Tinubu will soon remove subsidy on air. Nigerians. This is coming from Peter Obi and Obuwari Sak 8 Arad Jaye, page 4 there of the Pointer newspaper this morning. All right, there you have it. Uh, the top stories go on all out, as we always say, to get uh, the necessary information.